You have got to have the right game plan when it comes time to buy a home. The wrong game plan will destroy all the opportunity that could come in the rest of this home buying process. And what I mean by that... is you've got to discipline yourself. You've got to know what moves you're going to make before you make them. And so let me give you a couple of quick examples about this. When you go out into the marketplace to view homes, go to an open house, uh, look at houses on the internet, look at houses during a, a dedicated private showing, you are inclined to be emotionally uh, motivated. I mean, it, it's like the checkout line at a grocery store with a child, okay? Uh, you're likely to, to, to give yourself fits, to, to have your own little temper tantrum, to be impulsively motivated to do some things that are very dangerous if you have not set some discipline standards and, and kind of a goal and a trajectory and what we call a game plan. So you are going to want to sit down with your professional real estate uh, agent, consultant, broker, leader, guide. Okay, it's got to be a great agent because they need to be leading you through this. But in order to do that, you want to determine what I call your non-negotiables, right? What is your non-negotiable max budget? What is your non-negotiable max comfortable budget? Not just what can you pay, what can you get qualified for, but where do you want to be? Where are you going to be comfortable? Now that's true for pricing budget dollars. It's also true for a number of bedrooms, bathrooms, distance to schools, major highways, apartment complexes, whatever your, uh, your, your decision-making criteria are, you want to have established those up front. You want to establish what would we do in the event that you fall in love with a home and there's some competition for that. How might we go about being competitive in a multiple offer situation? You don't want to be making these decisions at the last minute because at the last minute, more often than not, the only real major option is to throw more money at it. Right, because you don't have time to get answers to questions about could we go this route? What if we did that? Do we have time to do this? Sitting down and getting a game plan in place up front lets you know your kind of secondary mortgage options or how much cash could you make available if the right perfect beautiful home came along or would we be willing or able to offer a free lease back to the seller of the home we want to buy, have we established all of our options for moving out of our home or out of our apartment? What are all of our options there? Could we buy out our lease early? Could we stay a little bit longer? Uh, when Do we know what we need to do on the buy side? So if we negotiate with the buyer of our house, we can maintain some flexibility there. So those are just a couple of examples a truly world-class, really great expert agent could walk you through dozens, if not hundreds, of contingencies that you could be prepared for really within a couple of hours of putting together a great strategy. Spending those couple hours on the front end will save you from spending dozens of hours later and thousands of dollars extra money. And, and, and sometimes doing all those things and still leading to heartache where you don't get a home you love or there's delays and you might end up, you know, uh, in between homes if you sold a home and weren't able to secure a home to buy. So those are just a couple of examples of how important it is to get a really smart game plan in place before you go out and look at homes, way before you would make offers at homes, and even before you really seriously start looking online at homes. Now, the next thing you're gonna wanna know, you gotta watch the next video right here on the screen, is how many homes should we be looking at, right? It's, it's more complex than that sounds. Check out that video and check out this entire series so that you can make great decisions as you buy your next home.